Hello everybody, my name is Jeff Cage, today I have a brand new video. Today's video we are taking a look at the Cold Hill School set, also known as the Remembrance of the Dalek set, or Ace and Dalek set. I feel, these only came out the other day, and I feel like I'm very lucky to get one of these, because my B&M lock recently, my local b and has been terrible. Uh, the previous wave, which was like History of the Dalek set 3, 4, 5th Doctor Tyler from Visitations, that wave, literally nothing. I managed to somehow track down, you know, the History of the Dalek set 4, but, you know, went back there, there's no History of the Dalek set 3, or TARDIS, or whatever, so... My hopes to get in this and the 12th Doctor one was very low. I thought, oh, I'm not gonna be able to get one. Well, bam, I found one, and, yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's run to this, shall we? So there we are, there's the, oh, stupid reflecting. You have Ace there, the rocket launcher, and you have the Imperial Dalek, I think? That's the one from Remember It's the Daleks. Usual stuff on the on the sides, back, lovely picture there, description. So uh, yeah, let's uh, crack it right into this, shall we? So before we get into the figures, we'll take a look at the backdrop, which is uh, the Coal Hill School. Very nice, very nice backdrop there. Anyway, let's crack into the figures. Starting off with the Imperial Dalek, which I just want to state, this is my favourite design of Dalek. This is, out of every single Dalek that's ever been made, classic and new, this is my favourite. And, um, there it is. That is lovely. Now, I do want to point out something about this Dalek that I've just noticed when I've been uh, unpackaging it. There's a, there's, a, there's a line here, okay? This line was a lot bigger, but I tried squishing these bits together, so I think, sadly, this one's got a bit of a... I think, at least, the, the, the gap, the, you can see like, like a line there, obviously, where I sort of push them together. Um, there was a bigger gap, but I managed to squish it, and so I think that might be a little bit of a, uh, I've got a bit of a dodgy Dalek, but still, I love this. He's got the ears, the uh, eye stalk moves, Lo lovely eye stalk, by the way. Uh, the plunger, or well, the sucker, or whatever you call him, it's very nice. They're very cool, the gun. Very shiny. This is a very, very. I think after yeah, in the Dalek stories, after having a lot of sort of um, you know, sort of dark blue and grey Daleks, having just a hit sort of a white, creamy and gold Dalek is just so. Oh, it's it's eye candy, honestly. Um, and yeah, very very cool. Very happy to ha finally have one in my collection because it's been a uh, Dalek that I've been wanting for ages. Let's get into the Ace figure. And she's there with a with a rocket launcher. Very nice, very nice. I couldn't actually get it to hold in her hand properly. I'm sure if I give it a better try later. Let's take a look at the rocket launcher accessory. That is very nicely moulded, etc. Really cool. As you can see, you've got uh, all her pin badges, or uh, whatever, whatever you call them, badges. They're not pin badges, they're sort of iron-on badges, I think. I don't know, sew-on badges, something like that. I'm not a badge expert. Uh, we've got a backpack here. You know, rucksack, bag, whatever you call it. Um, which can be taken off if you, also the arms go to the side, which I wasn't expecting, you can have a, have a T-posing ace there. Uh, if you move them to the side or somewhere. I w it's always weird when it, it's like the same with, um, a really old, um, Tenth Doctor figure came with the, it's the, I'll put a picture if I can find it, the, uh, Army of Ghosts, uh, Tenth Doctor with trench coat and stuff, or any character that has a backpack accessory, when trying to, like, remove that backpack accessory when you have to, like, push the arms back. It feels like I'm going to break them. Um, yeah, here you go. Backpack's off. And on the back, you've got the... Uh, I, can I can say Ace has a lovely jacket. That's such a cool jacket, Ace has. I have heard the face sculpt is a lot better um, depicting Sophie Aldred um, as Ace. I haven't really taken a look at any other Ace figures. Uh, but it is a lovely head sculpt. I can definitely tell that's um, Sophie Aldred. And um, and yeah, there's a look at the backpack accessory there. Very cool. So um, yeah. So overall, what do I think of this set? It is a lovely set. Okay, it comes with one of my personal favorite companions from the classic era, Ace, and comes with my favorite design of Dalek. So it's basically a match made in heaven. Apart from the Dalek's front bit, which I'll have to maybe look at other people's videos and pictures and to see. You know, if mine is slightly defective at the front, sort of, you know, a dodgy Dalek coming out of, you know, uh, the production or factory or whatever. And, uh, yeah. I do want to say I am a bit sorry for not being able to pick up any of the other 
Doc 2 B&M sets. I literally can't find them. I do really refuse to pay these prices on eBay. If I get desperate, I will probably buy History of the Dalek set 3 um, on eBay because I do want to get all the History of the Dalek sets, although I haven't got the Jungle Mechanist set because I wasn't massively bothered about it. But now I kind of regret it because they're out of stock. But, um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, and I'll see you in the next video.